Hi there, this is Andy Business with your friend Simeon. So welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. Please, if you're new on my YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever time I drop something like this. For some of us who do ask me that I should please send my videos to them on WhatsApp, this is just the only way, the simplest way to get my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're into pig farming, rabbit farming, uh, fish farming, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be getting notification time to time, all days or whenever time I drop new video. And my video can be recommended to you if you are watching my video often or rather if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube will be recommending my videos to you time to time. To all my lovers across the globe, I appreciate you all. Thank you for loving my video and thank you for sticking to any business. I so much appreciate. And I promise any business will not disappoint you on this same YouTube channel. And you'll be getting new things, new updates, time to time and every day. So let's dive into today's video like we normally do. What does piglet eat? What do piglet eat? What should we feed our piglets with? What should we give to our winners? You know, when a pregnant so uh, the liver, after four months, I think it's usually four months, three days or four months, one day, four months, one day or two days, depending. So after the pharaoh, either it's the first bed, the second bed or the third bed, either they are five in number, eight in number, ten in number, how long should it take us to win them? It shouldn't take us, I've said it in one of my videos, it shouldn't take us more than six weeks at least. There are a few people that do their own within one month. That is the very first four week they already win them. Winning in livestock is separating. Winners in livestock are baby piglets. It could be used for other animals, but when it comes to pig farming, winners are the baby piglets. Winning is W E A N I N G that is separating from the mother, separating the babies, the piglet, the younger ones after four weeks or six weeks, after one month or one month, two weeks from their mother to a separate room so that they can eat and feed on their own. By then, you don't expect your piglets to be depending on their mother's milk. You shouldn't be waiting for them to be sucking their mother's breast at all times. They shouldn't be taking milk at all times. You know the mother needs to rest and as well, you needed that limited time to at least cross the mother again so that she can carry another pregnancy and deliver for you twice or slightly three times in a year. But don't forget that when you are crossing your peak, you have to do what? You have to let her rest as well. So twice going to three times in a year is better. And you should know that the longer you leave your piglet with their mother, the more they will be sucking out to the bone. They will suck out dry and drain all she has in her body. So that is the reason why it is good to wean your piglet early, between four to six weeks. If they take longer time before you wean them, they might suck the mother and it will take you a longer time to feed the mother before she regain back her weight and before she get back into position then before you think of crossing her. But at this moment that she is breastfeeding, it doesn't really mean that she's not going to come on eat. She's going to come on eat. That doesn't stop her eat period. But you know when they are breastfeeding, you cannot meet them. So the best thing you can do to make profit and to also have much production at your farm is at four weeks, six weeks, you try to separate, then you feed the mother. It might not really take more than one to two weeks or three weeks before she regain back her weight if you have a very good feed and your pig is a quality one. Within two to three weeks, the mother will regain back her weight and you are going to figure out the heat period, then you cross the mother again. Within that time to so another four months, she's going to deliver you another baby. So that is how to get about it. But the main video about today is, what do we give our piglets? Maybe when we win them, or when they are still with the mother, what should we be giving them? What do they eat? You know, when your piglets are with their mother, it is from that time that they will start eating what their mother are eating. It's just like human being. When your wife, if you are a man watching me or you are a woman watching me, you as a wife, 
or you as a husband, if your wife is breastfeeding, then you will notice that if you get to some point, your wife will be introducing pap. That is uh, akamu ogi. Yeah. That is the liquid substance we make from maize or sugion or corn. Or she could introduce custard. This one's the package at the grocery that we buy. She could introduce that to the baby. And if you are a mother, you understand what I'm talking about as well. So if you get to some point, she will introduce maybe some kind of petty petty food like rice, little by little, um, bread, you know, until the baby gets adapted to what the mother is eating. And if you notice, if the baby grew up to a little level, you will figure out that the baby cannot eat something other than what the mother is feeding him or her with. Except the baby gets exposed to other food and he or she develop interest in eating that food. That is when the baby will decide to eat the food. So that is how it is when it comes to animal as well. If the mother pig furrowed within this four to six weeks that she's nurturing the baby, breastfeeding the baby, the feed you are giving to the mother, the piglets are also exposed to it. And within a very short time of separating them, they would have started feeding on those things. Now my question is, do you have a very good formula? Are you giving your pig a very good feed to eat? If you are giving them a very good feed to eat, then you don't need to panic or worry yourself or try to be looking out for what your piglets can eat or what they really like to eat. What you are giving to their mother is what they will be used to eating and that is enough for your piglet. You don't need to worry yourself. You don't need to start running up and down looking for other stuff or other ingredient or any other things stressing yourself just because you figure out they're supposed to be eating something relevant. The best thing is your piglet already had enough time to suck their mother's milk and that is enough for their growth. So far your pig is pure. So far your pig is good one. The baby, which is the offspring, are going to be a good one too. So the milk they are going to be taking will fasten their growth and also the food they get exposed to are going to fasten their growth. So you don't need to worry about what they are going to eat or what they are not going to eat. But in another way, if you are to ask me what piglets do like to eat, it's not hard. You could get them some rotten fruit. This rotten fruit I'm talking about is not the one with maggot. It's not the one with uh, smelling with flies and everything. Of course, rotten fruit are the ones they can no longer sell to you. Human. Go to all these fruit seller, all these aboki seller. I've said it in one of my videos. Just keep watching my videos. If you watch one, try to check the list of my video. You are still going to find another one that is interesting. Go to all these aboki seller. Go to all these women or all these men selling fruit at your junction. Tell them you need the waste, the ones that are not good for human consumption, the rotting one, they should just sell it for you. You want to feed, feed it to your animal. You can get all these things all together, give it to your piglet. They are good to go. They are going to eat it and they are going to do well. And if you figure out, okay, you don't like what you are giving to the mother, you want to give something separate to the piglet so that they can grow faster. Maybe your plan is to sell them within six months or eight months so that you can make money and still have time for order that are coming on the ground. So you can just formulate something very cheap. You can get this uh, fish meal, mix it with their feed. You can get, instead of fish meal, you see there are some things we, we kill ourselves on that are almost the same. Just, I don't know, check my video. I have, I have explained this in many of my videos. Your fish, your poultry meal, your poultry meal, they, they, you could get sludge too. Your sludge is also high in protein. Your blood is also high in protein. So all these things are the same thing. Your fish meal, your poultry meal, your sludge, your blood. If you are able to get feather meal, that one you are going to grind it. So if you get all these things, they are all encapsulated with protein. So they are protein giving food. So you don't need to buy everything all together. If you are able to get blood, if you want to mix it with a little touch of fish meal, do that. And if you do not get blood, if you do not get fish meal, you can get your poultry meal. Poultry meal are made from waste, intestine, uh, chickens, uh, the head of a chicken that they slaughter and caught. 
from all these restaurants. I want the pack to get that dry and the grind. The same thing is your slow. All these things are still from livestock. So they are all protein. So you don't need to kill yourself buying, maybe you buy uh, blood, you buy fish meal, you are still looking for sludge or you are still looking for poultry meal. No, if it is only poultry meal you get, that is enough to go. And don't forget, if protein is too high in your feed, it will still make your pig to purge, which is not good. High proteinous food is not good for your piglet as well. They will purge. And also don't look for anything that will just give them fat and not give them meat. If buyers come to your place and they buy it and they are not getting enough meat but fat, they will not patronize you again. Even if you call them or beg them or reduce price for them, they will not come. So find a very good feed that you can give to your piglets and they are going to eat, they are going to grow faster and they will also have enough meat and not only fat in their body. So you can get something like GNC. GNC is a granite cake. Like this thing they used to do kuli kuli, but instead of frying it into kuli kuli, once they compress the oil out of it, the leftover one, they dry it. That is what we call granite cake. You can get it in your area. We have the soya. You can get soya from the farm. Just try to fry it, pour it inside the pot like that. Fry it and grind it. So when you, I'm not saying you should put oil, though. just pour it inside the pot. You can do it with sand. Just make sure it burns a little, then you grind it. Once you grind it, mix it with your feed. You are good to go. You can get wheat offer. Wheat offer or wheat bran, they are good. I can't tell much about rice bran because it has little of these nutrients in them. And you can also increase the level of a PKC you get. PKC is also very rich in protein, little touch of protein, and also in fats, very rich in fat. But these days, majority of the PKC we are getting from the store are mostly compressed, like they are thoroughly compressed. The oil that is supposed to be in some of it are no longer there. They have taken out almost 99% of all the oils that are on it. And your pig need little of this oil which is the fat to grow or to grow bigger so by the time they have already drained everything there is nothing much your pig are going to benefit from the shafts that they give you so it's one of the things affecting uh pig growth when it comes to feeding them with pkc so all these things together are still what your piglet need to eat you can you can as well add maize and i've been telling you if your maize are not well grinded if they are not well pulverized then you are wasting your time because what they eat is what they are going to pull out they are not going to absorb any nutrient from the maize you know maize is a very solid this thing number one the stress they are going to undergo in chewing or digesting is another thing so which is not good either you grind it into powder before you give them or you don't give them at all. You can also get your sodium, sodium or sodium or sodium, they call it. You know what I'm talking about already. You can get that, grind it as well, then mix it with your feed. This is energy given food and it is also rich in protein. It will make your piglet grow well and faster. Instead of getting wheat from the market, we are using the shaft of wheat brown, which is okay. So, and you know, wheat is very, very rich in nutrient. So that is that about all those things. You can get as well bone meal. And if you can't find bone meal in your area, get DCP. Bone meal, we are using bone meal because of calcium. Calcium is just to make the bones of your piglets stronger the more they are growing faster so that their bone will be able to maintain the weight they are going to carry. Like their bone will be able to carry the weight they are getting as you feed them with this feed that will make them grow faster the same thing is your dcp your dcp is also calcium medicine if you don't have the medicine the dcp the grower premix the vitamin or any other thing just let me know i will supply them to you and you'll be good to go so there's nothing much when it comes to giving your piglets food they eat what you are giving to the other ones just make sure that your formula is good and the ingredients you are using are genuine and all good if they are good then you are good to go if you have leaf don't if you have leaf too but i wouldn't advise you to depend on leaf if you have target leaves in such of potato leaves and all that 
don't manage feed for the animal you have purpose for. Maybe your purpose is to sell them in the next 10 months. You shouldn't be managing feed for them. You feed them until they give you the result that you want. So piglets eat exactly what you are giving to other pigs at the farm. Just make sure that the feed is rich. They don't need milk. They don't need whatever you think you are going to give them. And for those who use blood, a blood is good, but I don't advise blood at all time. Because you see, most of the animals, they are slaughtering to get the blood from them. Some of them are sick. They have infections, some have bacteria, some have other diseases in their body before they slaughter them. So by the time you get this blood and you start mixing it with your feed before you give them, your pig from there can contract whatever disease that is inside the blood as well. So if you want to be using the blood, either you cook and sun dry it, or you just find one way or the other to just make it more safer for the piglets you are feeding them to so that you don't end up having another issue while trying to feed your pig to the point of growing faster. So that is all about the video. You don't have anything like running up and down to get piglets feed. Piglets doesn't have a special feed. They don't have a specific feed. They eat what you are giving to the mother and so far the feed is good. It's going to work on them. Just make sure you have a good breed and you're going to have a good result. That is all about the video. Keep on watching on the video and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share and don't forget to like this video if this video is interesting. My name is Simeon O. James. For consultation, you can reach out to me on WhatsApp with the same number. Thank you for watching. Bye.